When I was younger, I felt like I knew what I was going to do with my life. I felt that um, I had the answer to what do you want to do with your life? And I think that that idea has still stuck with me, even though it's entirely the wrong question to ask these days. And as we're moving into a new phase of our lives and, and a new phase of, of, of our careers and work, it's, it's really made me question why we keep asking that question when it's no longer relevant. We should be asking them, what are you going to do with the next season of your life? You know, what do you want the season of your life to look like? And I've said to so many of my students and, and so many people around me and people that I know, it's reasons and seasons. People, opportunities, work, things come and go in your life for different reasons and in different seasons. And in some cases, it's good to let stuff go. It's good to leave a job because it's not the right season for you anymore. It's good to start a new job because it's the right season for you. Um, we've all had relationships that have fallen, you know, fallen away, not because of anything other than the fact that we're not in high school with them anymore. Or we're not studying with them anymore. And so you still care about them, but you don't speak to them. Reasons or seasons, you know, reasons and seasons. So as accountants who are uh, more likely to stick to one thing or to one stability or not like change, not be creative or innovative, we're moving into a phase of our life where we're asking what's the next season for us. And as we do that, uh, I want to document that season and I want to document that change as we're going through the thought process, because I think that there's so many people out there who are still asking themselves, what am I going to do with my life? When the only, the only constant in the world these days is change everything changes your companies change the world change technology changes people around you change you don't know what your life is going to look like in five years time you don't know what your life is going to look like in three years time so how do you make plans for your whole life and when it comes to your career and your career plans the days of, of working at a company and staying there for 10 15 20 years until you retire those days are gone you know i don't know what the stats on that is but i, I don't I don't know people who do that anymore. You know, we, the statistics indicate people change jobs, you know, every three, four years. So we're still asking them, what are you going to do with your life? You know, and um, the answer is, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Why aren't we asking, what are we going to do? Or what do you want to do with the next season of your life? You know, what do you want to do until the next thing comes along? What do you want to use? What opportunities do you want to take on? Um, you don't have to commit your entire life to them, but um, it might be right for you for, for now.